everyone welcome to today's demo today i wanted to share ideas with you that were about about weaving i love things that are woven i just think the effect is really cool looking um it's just a little bit more interesting adds texture it's just really kind of cool so we're going to get started here so i carry this um, fun gold ribbon here at my shop it's kind of a mesh looking ribbon um and years ago when i was working at stamp doodle um lydia um was playing around with this and she you know kind of brought to my attention that you could weave with a texture like this this mesh here with all these little holes in it and i was like huh that's really kind of fascinating and so I kind of thought we could kind of play on that kind of idea. So I cut out these eighth inch strips out of a variety of different colors. I used a guillotine paper cutter because that's really the best way to, or uh, you can also use the cutter pillar, um, but you really need um, a paper cutter if you're going to cut your own strips so that you get the nice crisp edge um, so you can get those nice um, even dimensions there for the eighth of an inch. Okay, and then I cut out at two eighths of an inch for some of the um, this kind of pearlescent um, star dream paper here. So, sorry, I'm just updating up my color really fast. So, um, this is cardstock. This is cardstock. The um, this kind of paper color here is actually just text weight, which is kind of copy paper weight. Um, and then my star dream paper that is also um, cardstock. Okay, not that it really matters. I just use scraps of paper that I had laying around, um, and I really recommend doing that. This is a great way to use up your scraps. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get started with this little guy here. I'm gonna go in this direction because if you try to go here, it's not really gonna work very well. You have to kind of go in the direction where you can actually weave. I'm gonna start from either the left or the right. It's really easy to weave this stuff. I was really surprised. You kind of go under, over, under, over, right? So once you kind of get that idea, you can actually just kind of quickly um, kind of feed it through here. Because especially because this mesh ribbon is just a little bit flexible. And then once you kind of get to a point you just kind of pull on it and it just kind of stretches all the way through which again just makes it really kind of easy for doing that kind of woven look okay and I'm going to go back and forth between these two colors under owned see and with the cardstock you can see it's a little bit easier actually um, and I found that the cardstock just zipped on through you can just do that usually that whole row all at once Kind of hold it in place and stretch through now i'm doing i liked the um i like in this gold tones the brown and this kind of um earth tone kind of i don't know call this desert color um because um it really just kind of went nicely with this texture cut this textured ribbon so and i decided to go kind of in a pattern kind of the light and dark light and dark here okay all right, so I'm not going to do all of these um, because, of course, someone wants to watch that. Um, but I am going to do enough here so I can teach you the next part of this. And then I'll show you what the finished um, effect is because I thought it was really neat um, how it all kind of came together here. All right. Okay, so at this point, you can kind of see that you, we definitely have some spaces some space in between and so when I was playing around with this honestly when you're weaving things it's actually kind of fun it's kind of relaxing I was noticing um but I also um you know just kind of wanted to play and be like all right what else could I weave here and um, I'm just going to finish putting this one in here and then I'll show you what I noticed and I really do do need this last one here so you can really get the full effect whoops Hold on it without having a tight grip. There we are. Okay. So I'm just going to tuck these to the side here. All right. So now that I have this kind of cool texture here, um, now I wanted to take these ones, which again are two eighths, and I'm going to kind of look in this direction because I was like, oh, look at this. We can kind of weave these ones. So we went over and under, over and under here. Oops. I was like, oh, this could be kind of interesting. So I was like, all right, well, we could do the rest of these. Kind of going back this direction. So since I went under, over, under, over on that one, oops, I'm not quite sure where that's not straight. It's usually pretty straight for me. Oh, it's because my 
And I can't remember the Macaulay Cutty Cricket. All right, well, no problem. We're just gonna go with the, the flow here. So under, over, under, over. Actually, I'm gonna pull that first one out because it's kind of driving crazy. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. Because that two eighths space is about it all, that's the about the max width you can tuck in there. Isn't that neat? So it's kind of filling in. So you actually get this kind of double woven kind of look, which I really like. So I'm we'll kind of I'm gonna do a couple more here just to kind of show you. Oops, some of these I didn't get quite super accurate, but that's okay. So again, under, over, under, over. Wait. Okay. So you get the idea here. Okay. So you kind of get that interesting kind of woven look. Now check it out when it's all done. And you trim everything down. Look at this. So this turns into this. Okay. So once you line all those up and you weave everything together here, then you just take your scissors and you just kind of trim it down to size, right? So I'm just going to trim this down to just a little mini one so that you can see. Okay. So even though when you're kind of weaving, it kind of looks like, oh, I don't know how cool that's going to actually be. The effect is actually really, really cool. Isn't that fun? I just really, really like that kind of woven look. So then, of course, you can always embellish with a little bit of that textured ribbon on whatever card you're doing, you know, so that way you can kind of get that fun kind of a woven kind of appearance. Um, but you kind of start with, you know, a ribbon that maybe you already have laying around. Isn't that cool? Okay, on to the next idea. thought was if you're trying to weave something let's say you only have these pieces to work with and you have a card base you're like well I don't really have a piece of mesh ribbon not a problem you can stick down some double-sided tape and then you can just go ahead and just start sticking your pieces on and so I want the background here to show so my pieces here are about roughly eighth of an inch and so I'm going to go ahead and just lay them down leaving about an eighth of an inch between each little strip here So this gives me my, at least a little bit of a um, platform to start working with here. Okay, and then I also have my, you know, my, but I would refer to them as two eighths of an inch pieces of my kind of ivory paper there. So once you stick these in place, then you can actually start weaving and kind of playing. So again, when I think of weaving, I think of it kind of as playing or just kind of, you know, kind of doing something kind of relaxing that you're not really paying too much attention to. Um, and maybe it's just something you're doing, maybe we're watching TV or just kind of, you know, hanging out. We want to kind of work with your fingers. We don't necessarily need to pay attention too much. Okay. So I'm going to kind of bring this down to the bottom here. And that double-sided tape is holding my little pieces in place so that I can actually focus on actually weaving this. And again, when you're weaving, of course, you go opposite of what you did before. And if you kind of start up here in the more looser weave and then work your way down um, in the areas where it's tighter, then you get that really interesting effect. And you can make it tight or you can make your weave kind of loose so then that way you see the brown behind it. Sometimes I kind of like it when you see the brown um, kind of the other under color behind it because it kind of creates, you know, that kind of more like a plaid kind of a look versus like a really tight weave. Either way, I just really enjoy that kind of every time you're doing a weave, it's all kind of a little bit different, you know, and you can make it really stick kind of nice and straight, or you can make it kind of funky and fun and make it a little weird, you know, and kind of wonky. So it kind of depends if you're making kind of a funky card or doing kind of a funky art piece, or if you're really wanting to make it kind of true and again, they're kind of tight, tightly woven. I love using different materials when doing weaving. So if you're out there in the world and you see something, you're like, oh, I wonder if I could weave with that, play with it. You know, if it's like a reed or grasses, you know, things like that, or some fun textured handmade papers. Um, I really want you to get out there and just, you know, feel inspired and just be like, well, 
what are these little strips you know or could I cut this into little strips and then weave with it ribbons can be really fun to weave with too and in fact we are going to move on to that next so that's kind of a cool idea then again once we're done with it excuse me <coughs> oh! Sorry, I just need to sneeze. Um, anyways, once you're all done with it, then you can go ahead and cut that down to size. And then, of course, you could mount it um, on a card, you know, and cut off that little piece of the um, that edge there that has the tape, you know, or scoot these pieces over here. Or maybe you want to tape something down to kind of block off that section, and, you know, cut out a square. Um, and then that reverse piece that has a square cut out, you can mount that on top. So just that little woven is peeking through and kind of play around with that concept. Okay, so on to the next idea. So, we were talking about ribbon. I love textured mesh ribbons. I carry these at my shop. They are so cool. So, um, when I'm weaving with these, I'm going to do a couple things here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold this in half and then fold this in half again. And I'm actually, I'm actually going to fold it in half one more time. I'm going to cut this into thirds, this direction here. Okay, I'm going to cut it into thirds. It's going to break it up into these little strips here, which is perfect width for weaving. And I'm going to do the same thing with this piece here. I'm actually going to cut this in half because I don't need the whole thing. Okay. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and fold this in half, fold this half so it's a little bit smaller here. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with when I'm trying to cut this into thirds. All right, so now I have my little piece of paper here. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put double-sided tape on the back on all four sides here. And I wanna keep the double-sided tape kind of close to the edge here. And the reason why is because we're gonna be wrapping our ribbon around. So I'm gonna wrap this all the way around. Hope this doesn't need to be nearly this long. And I'm just gonna stick that to the back side here. And I actually am gonna kind of do a pattern here because I have an idea. So I want it, I'm gonna do the um, meshes, but I'm gonna do the red and then kind of that um, ivory color, the red and the, the off-white ivory. Is that long enough to wrap? Oh, it is, just barely. Let's do that. And the ivory. And when you have that similar width, it just makes it look nice. And do the red again. Ivory. Oh, that's probably going to be the last one there. Okay, so now I'm going to put double sided tape on the mesh part, on the top and bottom, and I'm going to mount it onto this piece of ivory here. Okay, now I cut out some little pieces of my red strips here, and I'm just going to go ahead and weave like I did before. But what's cool about this is that you get that really interesting texture there, which I love. And I love that kind of burgundy on the burgundy. That's just so cool looking. I really, really like that. So you can do them all the same color or you can do them all different colors. Well, you know, you can do them the opposite colors like I did where you did the pattern, the red, white, red, white, or you can do them all white or all red. And then you can cut out different strips of paper. So you can really do a lot of different color palettes. And maybe you just want to do it just for fun, you know, or you can create like a little kit, you know, and then give it, you know, to some friends or something, or if you're looking for like a little activity for kids, it might be a fun little activity for kids to teach about weaving. You know, weaving activities are great, um, especially for really little kids. Um, you're trying to teach them about like patterns and teaching about, you know, like how many strips are there and cutting down paper and then um, having the little, you know, strips to tuck in the paper and then teaching about every other. So there are lots of like teaching um, parts of doing all these little crafts like this, you know, even though it's like a little meditative task. You know, for you or me, it might just be kind of fun for kids, you know, especially learning some things for the first time. Okay. All right. Okay. So, that's another fun idea. And so this is what it looks like with a champagne background and with just the ivory and um, champagne and the ivory um, mesh ribbon there. So you have a couple fun ideas with that. Isn't that cool looking? I really love that texture there. I just think that's really neat. And again, that really cool kind of ivory color palette there. So anyways, woven things can be really kind of fun to play with. 
All right, so I have one more idea to share with you. I think you guys are really going to like this one. Okay, so sometimes when you have these little strips of paper, again, I recommend just using scraps and cutting them into little strips. Um, I want them to kind of be a really tight weave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put double-sided tape on the top and on the left-hand side here. And um, I, I don't know if how common this um, technique is to people, um, but I'm not gonna stick my um, strip of paper directly on this piece of tape on the left side. I'm just gonna stick it mostly on the top piece there because the pieces here on the left-hand side are gonna be sticking this direction. So anyways, what I'm saying was, I'm not sure how many people know about this technique that I'm teaching here, but this is kind of an interesting kind of um, weave because it's not really a weave that we're like really familiar, like super familiar with when you think of woven because I think of in and out in and out when I think of woven. Um, um, this one's going to kind of be more like a cross hatching, but it makes a really interesting design as you kind of go back and forth. So again, we're just kind of going from the top down and then from the um, left. So we're kind of building kind of directional kind of this way. So this kind of even, um, I would say it's an exponential growth um, as it kind of heads this way. Okay. Um, the reason why I wasn't sure how many people know about this is because I actually learned about this when I was trying to learn how to weave pies um, around the holidays. You know, I was like, how do you get that woven look? And my mom actually brought it up to me. She's like, you know, there's an easier way to do that. You can just lay the strips of dough on so you're not trying to actually weave dough. And I was like, oh my gosh, that just makes way more sense. Um, and I actually really like the look of this um, because of how the effect is kind of different. Um, you're not getting a true in and out weave. See here how the strips go all the way across um, after the, this, I'm Look at the second second strip here it's underneath or this strip is on top of this strip right here but then it's underneath all the rest of those strips see and then these two this one is on top of those two and then underneath these so it's a really interesting kind of pattern but i love that it looks woven um, and so that was really what i wanted to um, focus on and to show you uh, oops did that really going way there wait did i no i didn't um, so anyways, I just think that it's just a really fun technique and, um, it's not, it's not, I wouldn't say that weaving the other direction is difficult, but I would say that this is in a way almost easier, um, and a little bit, you know, it's just a different, a different look and a different kind of weave, so to speak. All right. And then you may be thinking to yourself, Ellie, what do you do with this? You know, when you're all done. So this is one what I would really would call, call a super tight weave, but it does look tighter than some of the other things we were doing. Okay, so this is where I wanted to show you. So what we're gonna do here, let me grab a little piece of paper. So interestingly, I have this piece of paper here that already had a score line in it. I don't know about you guys, but I collect, I keep scraps for all sorts of stuff. So I'm actually gonna fold this in half. And of course, if you have a die cut machine, you can cut, die, cut out a die, but I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cut out this cute little heart. Okay. I'm a little heart cut out and then I have my little reverse piece here and I'm going to trim this down to size. Okay, so now I'm going to have my little heart and I'm going to tell you I actually cut out one earlier so we're going to go with my, my cut out one from earlier and because I measured it and that's what I wanted. So I'm actually going to lay this on here so that you just see that cute little weave. Isn't that adorable? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of the tape on that. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape that in place and I'm gonna just bring that right to the edge there so that it's just my woven that is shown. And now I'm going to go ahead and just trim this off here. And then I'm gonna mount that onto my card. And since I have a little bit of that score line showing there and there, I might as well just use my fun little mesh ribbon here. And I'll put just a touch of double sided tape on the top and bottom for that little that fold line is showing anyway. I'm just gonna put some mesh ribbon here because I think that's just so cute. because I just really like that texture and I like that kind of repeat texture. And I'm just gonna mount that right here on my little card piece there. Oh, so fun! So now there you have some cute ideas. Actually, this is gonna drive me crazy. I don't like that as much as I thought. 
I thought I might like that more. Sorry guys, I'm ripping this off because I don't like it. But that's okay because I have another idea. Sometimes you just have different ideas. I'm still gonna emphasize my fold line here, but not with other side of tape, but rather with my little strips here, I think. Maybe you enjoyed my mesh ribbon too, or you preferred my mesh ribbon, but that's okay. I like this. I'm going to put my mesh ribbon over there instead. Perfect. Sorry, now I'm just finishing off the card. I'm just finessing with it because it's me and I get to do that. <laughs> okay, there we are. Oh, I love that so much more. Now I get my replication of my fun little the kind of texture, but like a finer texture over here, but then I get my fun little heart. Much better. All right, so there we have our fun way of weaving so you can weave your tiny little pieces and create a fun texture and use mesh ribbon to bring it out yay all right you guys so there is that's today's woven demo oh i wanted to show you the other idea so once you can do that with of course the little heart cutout you can also do it with the deer cutout look how cool this is so i'm gonna go ahead and mount this on here really fast so we can just finish this one up too I love the way the deer one look, turned out. So this is a deer die cut and this was a reverse after I cut out the deer from that. So I thought that would just be so cool with that um, textured background. And I was right. I love that look. I just think that's really cool. I love how what kind of rustic looking that is. I'm just going to go ahead and trim this off here. I could use a paper cutter but I'm using my scissors. But look how fun that is. Isn't that just great you guys? Oh. I just love that. I love woven stuff. I don't know why. It's probably because I worked with Wendy for so long and she loves woven stuff. And so I just learned to really like woven stuff too. I really like it. It's fun. It's fun to make and create. So there we have our fun ideas for today. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you had fun. I really enjoyed sharing my ideas with you today, you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope that you take the ideas and do something exciting. Anyways, have a fun day, you guys. I will see you next time. Next week. Bye-bye.